So, yeah, I'm gonna start making that. I got some bigger ones over here I'm gonna start with first. Move this pile over a little bit. Kind of like right in the way here. See how the pine ball's got a ridge to it too? See how it's got that, the, the bend to it? That's the way I'm putting it down. In, in a sense, it's got a spring to it, you know what I mean? So that goes down. Kind of helps with the, with the structure of the bed. Don't know if that's right or wrong, but. I think we're kind of getting somewhere here. How's that look? I think that looks pretty dang good. Let me try it out. Oh! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. Well, I do see kind of a problem. Well, I can tuck up here further. Like so, yeah. Well, there's that one. That's gonna go. Get this out of here. That was poking me in the back. So, yeah, it's supposed to snow tonight. I think the snow is gonna go like this and miss me, but I think I need an overhang. I think I got a, I got some bowels right here. I think I need to build an overhang right here. So it does protect me from the, from the uh, snow that is forecasted for tonight. That is a comfy bed, ladies and gentlemen. A comfy bed. I think I'm gonna put a lot of these down there. I don't need them up here, so here. So I think that's gonna be perfect right there. That's gonna be mm, nice, nice. Okay. Now these I gotta make an overhang with. Just like so. Yep. Yep, a little overhang. A little overhang. Dude, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking with propane, charcoal, whatever. Gas, we're cooking. Nonetheless, we're cooking. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. How's that look? How's that look, guys? What? Home sweet home, baby. That is so sweet. All right, my well, fire's gonna be right there. Get my bed pulled in here. Perfect guys. That's gonna be sweet. I think I got a stick over there, a cedar. I'm gonna grab that to make a base of my bed. You know, like a, the edge of my bed right there. I think I'm gonna try that. So, I got my sleeping pad right here. Pretty much my wife's yoga mat. That ain't good. Holy. Don't tell her. Don't tell her. Why is my yoga mat all sticky? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I don't know, uh, babe. I don't know. What was it? What was it me? Okay. No. Let's uh, grab my sleeping bag. Actually, uh, I think I'm gonna leave my sleeping bag in. Ah. No, I'll take it out. It needs to come out. This is, this is as good as time as any to go through my pack. So, okay, well, what do I got here? I got a uh, bottle of water. I think there's like 32 ounces in there. I have a wilderness hatchet with a sheath. I gotta make a, 
a grip on the bottom of it. That handle is really slippery. And I should make a strike. I can already see it getting pretty chewed up. Uh, a strike shield there. I got a couple chunks of paracord. I probably got about 40 feet of paracord. Um, I will need some, I'm gonna need some of that later for my uh, tripod for cooking. I have a saw for bucking up firewood. I would prefer a, uh, a uh, bow saw, but I don't have one yet. Um, I, obviously I have camera gear. I'm not gonna show you guys that, but I do have camera gear. Um, my food, I showed you that earlier, that chicken, rice, oatmeal. Um, I have, these are my, uh, I gotta make sure they're not wet. It does not feel like they got wet. These are my liners out of my bath and boots, my ice fishing boots. I'm gonna wear them to bed. I'm gonna wear them inside my uh, sleeping bag. Okay, that's that, that stuff. Here's the other one, that one doesn't feel wet either. Remember my story about earlier? Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, dry clothes. I put them in uh, a bit, uh, uh, garbage bag, thankfully I did because I know they're not wet. I have an extra hat, uh, gloves, uh, merino wool, um, long underwear, um, and a pair of sweatpants. I'm gonna change into that stuff before I crawl into my sleeping bag. What else do I got in here? Um, cooking grate for the fire later. Okay, that's it for in there. What do I got in here? Um, oh, extra batteries for my uh, light for later. So you guys can see me. My cooking stuff. One day I'm gonna get some better cooking stuff, but this stuff will work for now. I got a little pan. I don't even know if I'll use that this trip, but I will use this kettle for uh, my oatmeal and rice. But I got two, uh, a fork, a spork, <laughs> and a wooden spoon. So I got that stuff. Be nice to have one that would hang, you know? But that's all right, that's for another day. Okay, here. That's that, that's that. Okay, what do I got in here? This is a fun pocket. I do have a Bic. That barely works, so I need to warm that up just in case I need it. I have a flint, a buck knife. Let's see if this works. So that's how I'm gonna to try to start the fire. Um, I do have another better flint on order, but we'll see. Um, we'll see how it works, I'm gonna try it. I've never started a fire like that before, but we're gonna give it a shot. Oh, another Bic. See how this one starts? Not very good. Cold, cold butane in there. What else do I got in there? Nothing else in there. And my sleeping bag. My sleeping bag's down here. This is what I was hoping didn't get wet. Oh, a uh, headlamp for, you know, if I need it, I need it. You know what I'm saying, guys? So, headlamp, um, what else? Do I got anything else in here? Nothing in that pocket, so. Um, I think that is about it. Yep, that's it. And then I have another knife right here, but, so I have two knives, a hatchet. It's plenty enough for this trip. I think that pretty much sums up my gear. Oh, I threw it all out of, out of, you can't even see it all. Oh, what the heck, Rob? Okay, but anyways, yeah, winter camping. Let me check the weather. Let me check thy weather. Uh, 21 degrees right now, so 21. We got a 80% chance of snow at 11 p.m. tonight, and that looks like the low for the night as well, which is 18 degrees. So, not too cold, not warm, but not too cold. So, we'll see how it all plays out. But that's the scoop, that's the gist of it. Now I'm gonna leave my sleeping bag out. This does not feel, oh, that end, oh, it certainly did get wet. 
one thing I was hoping didn't get wet, got wet, but hey, we'll start a fire and dry it out, right? What happens if you actually do need to dry stuff out? Yeah, frozen. It's all right. That's half the fun of it, right? Oh yeah, zippers froze. So I'm glad I did check this. I was gonna leave this in there. Um, I was gonna leave it in until... Uh... So here's the wet part up on my head, which is I'm thankful for that it's not my feet, because that would kind of suck. But, yeah, so and then this sleeping bag. This sleeping bag is rated for 25 degrees Fahrenheit height. So we're pushing the buck on the uh, sleeping bag. Okay, I found some uh, pretty good dry wood. Now I'm just splitting it. I figured I'd do it with you guys. I uh, got some of this split up. I got some uh, real dry, small stuff. I'm just kinda working my way up to trying to start a fire, but I wanna be prepared um, the best I can be because when this all goes down, I want it to work without using the bick. Oh, that sound on there, like a plane. Okay, that's a start. Let's see if, uh, let's start this thing. Then I'm gonna build a, like a base for it to be up off the ground on. I guess right here. Something just like that. Okay. I like that. I like that, guys. Now, let's uh, let's make some shavings. Shavings are good. This is a chunk of cedar I'm using too, so it should go up pretty good. Okay. Well, there's some shavings or some uh, curly cues. All right, all right, I like that. I like the curly cues. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Let me think here. I'm gonna go get some uh, dead uh, fern. I see some fern. I'm gonna get some of that and try to find some other dead stuff, maybe some bark, uh, maybe some pine needles. Um, I do have some birch bark right here. That's been on pretty close to me all day. So I have that. Should help us out a little bit. Okay, I found an old dead pine tree and where the ants and termites and stuff have been eating on it, I found uh, some of this stuff. So it's just like sawdust shavings, 
real fine pieces of dead wood and this bark is pretty dry too. So we'll take that in our favor. Right guys? Okay. I'm gonna bust this up into real small pieces. Okay, well, I say we give her a shot. Sprinkle a little of this in there. Okay, I got my, uh, my little bundle here. That, I'm hoping, it's gonna get me to where I need to be with a fire. So I'll try to start that. I got some more birch bark. I got some small twigs, bigger twigs, bigger twigs, wood. Let's give her a shot, eh? I take this right off here, the striker, like so. Okay, hang on. I gotta get it like. I'm bleeding a little bit. I don't know. This is disappointing. I'm not even close. I can't even get it to smoke or start or nothing. Chewing up my hand pretty good though. Yes. Yes. Oh, I did it. Took a lot of convincing, but I did it. Man, I'm glad I stuck with that. Oh, is it gonna stay going? That's the question, eh? We got fire, guys. I think this Flint is a piece of crap, you know, I gotta be able to hang on to it so I can really strike it good. And I can't because it's chewing up my fingers. There we go, cool. And even that little fire is warm.
Might actually have to put another uh, kicker off this thing. Off my shelter, the wind is coming, blowing right towards you guys. Cool, started the fire at 108. Better cut some of them branches off. I don't want to get too uh, reckless here. So, here's a problem. The wind is coming. It's wanting to switch out of the, the west here. So, I'm going to have to put another uh, kicker in here. It's just the way it's going to have to be because uh, I don't want the wind blowing the fire around all night. And I want the heat to stay inside my shelter somewhat. Does that make sense? Let's see if this stuff will burn. All right, get after that. That'll be my next step. I got a spruce pole right over there I can cut up and use. I just need to go grab some more boughs then, which is no big deal. No big deal at all. I think I can break this. Not even close. Some ribs for that. Where do you think my hatchet is? Right there. Found it. This camp is really coming around. It's pretty awesome, actually. Pretty awesome.
There. Now we're protected pretty darn good. Only not get to there. All right, time to cut firewood because that firewood lasted about eight seconds. And I got hours and hours and hours to go. So put that big dog on there, save that one for later. Put that one on there. There, that'll give me some time to go cut some firewood.